Hello everyone, Dragon Souls here, and live stream will begin here in just a few minutes. Uh, I'm testing this game out right now to make sure YouTube's okay with it. And uh, just to let you know, I have turned the music off in here on this game, so there's no game, there's no music in here at all. And uh, yeah. Um, now what took me so long to start this live stream, everyone, is I haven't had no and nothing to eat all day. I've been so busy with everything, uh, uploading videos to my YouTube channel, uh, making them live, go live, and everything. Um, I've been on, vaca I've been on a, a vacation for a, almost a week and a half, and uh, to be honest with you, uh. I don't have water in my house right now. That's right, one. We are completely out of water right now because um, winter uh, uh, wind, wind shield advisory happened, and uh, it knocked half and it, it knocked our water out. Uh, our water pipes froze, and uh, so now we don't have water for a while. And so they're trying to get the thaw, and they're trying to get the pipes to thaw out, so that way they can either fix, you know, re, uh, refix the water pipes, and get so we can have water or something. I don't know, but uh, yeah, that's going on right now. <laughs> and um, uh, all that. And a big bag of chips, and I, and I don't even have a bag of chips. I don't have no chips at all. I'm going on a strict diet, everyone. Uh, if you don't know why, uh, I'm, sorry, I'm and I'm going on a strict diet, but and the chips and stuff that I eat, I used to eat had all kinds of salt and sugar and stuff. I'm not going to eat that no more, okay? Only the things I'm eating now, the snacks I'm eating now is um, it don't have no sugar, it don't have no salt in it. And that's good. That's good for me because I'm trying to go on a diet, and I'm trying to keep my blood pressure down. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious on that. And uh, I have an uh, I have a official update, everyone. I have an official update on drag on my release day unboxing in uh, release day unboxing intro. Of my Dragon Ball Fighter Z, okay. I have been working on this whole time. I've been working on it throughout uh, for uh, for the whole, throughout the whole week and a half. I've been uh, I've been away from YouTube, uh, and um, Nickel Boy Fifty Three sit there and said, "Well, I guess uh, Dragon Souls left YouTube." Because he hasn't been, he had not been on YouTube in a while, in a, uh, almost, uh, he said I haven't been on, the, on here in almost a year, almost a month. That's bullshit. Uh, it's been almost a week, moron. <laughs> um, so yeah, I haven't been on here in a while because I've been working, I could told you on my channel update, I have, I was been working on my channel, on my video. And that's what I'm going to be doing. And also, tonight. Uh, I got a video I need to, uh, I'm gonna have to upload tonight uh, on my YouTube channel uh, and it's um, Z is the uh, revelation is, is a Ryzen 3 that uh, nickel uh, uh, that uh, Mike the night 91 has made and he's got on his channel and I uh, I did my reactions to it and my my review for it so it's almost 50 minutes long, everyone. So it's gonna take a while for it to upload into my YouTube channel. But if it go when it go when it's on there, I'll make it go live, and y'all can check that out. Okay? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Right now, you're all seeing a probably a major overload on my channel right now, and I do apologize to y'all for that. But I have to sit here and let them all go live today. Okay? Um, I'm also testing out, uh, uh, for YouTube, it's in private right now, so y'all not gonna see it until, until the 26th of this month, my, my intro, re uh, my intro for 
the release day unboxing of Dragon Ball uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z is up on YouTube right now but it's on private because I'm testing YouTube out to make sure if YouTube's okay with it and if YouTube's okay with it by the time uh, that day comes I can release it to y'all and let y'all see it um, I just took it over to my friend, my, my friend's house, uh, my friend Jerry's house, who has been helping me work on it. And uh, I let him see it. It's an hour, it's a, a minute and thirty seconds long. That's how it, how long the intro is. And I let him look at it, and he said, he said, "Oh my God, dragons and dragon." He said, "I gotta tell you." It looks good what you did to it. He said it looks great. He said I give it a hundred percent positive. And he said yes. He said you should have no problem. YouTube, as long as YouTube's okay with it. He said he said it looks great. He said I know everybody's going to love it. He said it's something that you've never done before, and it is great. So it is officially done, everyone. I am done fixing the intro. And all I gotta do now is work on the behind the scenes video. That's right, one. I gotta work on the behind the scenes video, which I've already, it's already fixed up and ready to go. All I gotta do is, is put it together. We're gonna put it together and then it'll be ready to go, but I cannot release it until, I cannot release it until January 20, until the 26th of this month, because it's gonna be included on with the release day unboxing, so when you see the release day unboxing, you're gonna see it. Uh, you're gonna see it then too as well. Okay. So that's a good channel. That's a good. Uh, I'm hoping that's a good update for y'all. And let me check YouTube out for a minute to make sure everything's okay. 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 So far, so good. Uh, I'm looking at YouTube right now and uh, my channel right now for uh, call. And it's called Testing Three. Uh, for my uh, for my intro for Dragon Ball uh, Fighter uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and it's okay. And so far, it's okay. It's in it's in uh, it's in private right now, so don't even try to go on my channel and look for it because you'll never find it. It's in private and uh, it's good. Everything's fine. And it looks like uh, since my uh, me being gone for so long, for a week, a uh, week almost almost two weeks, I have now 306 subscribers. Earlier I thought I had 300. And seven, three hundred and six and seven subscribers, but I miscounted. And I am no, and no, I am not. So don't even go there. So, but yeah, we do have, uh, we do have uh, new subscriber, and we do have a few. We um, four, four, five. We gained two new subscribers so far. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, it's starting to warm up, everyone. Uh, it is starting, I mean, it's 34 degrees out there, I think, or, or close to 40 degrees now. During the daytime and nighttime, it's supposed to get down back in the teens, which is okay, because the pipes need, the pipes definitely needs to unfreeze, so we get water going in here again, so... I can take me a bath. I ain't had a bath in a week, everyone, since this pipe and pipe is bad and doing this mess. Um, so yeah. So, as I said in my videos, everyone, Happy New Year's to everyone, and uh, let's start this year off right, okay? And this is the first. A fi this is going to be the official first live stream in 2018 I started doing, okay? Uh, anybody is, you can come to this stream chat and you can say whatever you want, okay? But there are rules in, for the stream chat, okay? 
And if you don't know what they are, go check that video out and you'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, I want to let you know, feel free to come in here and chat it out with me and uh, have a great time. You know, that's what we're here for. We're here to have a great time. And, um, yeah. So, without further ado, and keep in mind, when I played this game years ago, and I've beaten it years ago. This game came, I was playing this game back when I was living at my old apartment. And, um, I couldn't, and my internet was so shitty. I couldn't do, I couldn't, I don't know if I did a full gameplay of this or not, but I'm going to do a full gameplay of this starting tomorrow, okay? This gameplay, uh, this game, uh, this gameplay, I'm not really officially here today, everyone, okay? Uh, my la this last streams are just a testing streams. I am not officially here today. Um, I got things I have to do tonight, so there won't be no streams at all tonight, okay? So, without further ado, let's get on with this. Make sure, uh, audio. I don't know if that's on and off or not, but we'll find out. The music's turned off, so that's good. Okay. So my question here to everyone is, how is everyone doing? How is your day? Is it beautiful out there? Is it beautiful where you're at? Is it cloudy? Is it raining? Whatever. Uh, let me know, okay? I would really like, you to know, like to know. Right now, it is beautiful out there today. And it's supposed to stay, as far as I know, it's supposed to stay beautiful through the rest of the week. I just don't know yet. So, let's get on with it. No game. Um, give me a challenge. You enjoy a good story and a good challenge. This is how the game is meant to be played. You can play. You, know, you play in games like their, uh, like their, uh, for uh, for their story and experience. Not for their challenge and uh, challenge, or blah blah blah. Okay, so I'm just testing this out, everyone. Okay, so if if I get too hard, then we'll go and then on the full game, real gameplay, we'll go and we'll start over and we'll do it right here. Okay. I forgot all about this. <laughs> I totally forgot all about it. Mankind uh, divided. You enjoy uh, the controls and some human. Uh, I want to do this here. The year was 2027. Advances in biotechnology were helping people improve their physical and mental abilities to an amazing degree. Why did, of course, they had enough money? A new breed of people was emerging, half human, half machine. And in Detroit, at least. I just landed a job as head of security at Seraph Industries, a cutting edge biotech firm. David Seraph himself handpicked me for the job, said he needed me to keep his people safe. My ex, Megan Reed, was one of them. A brilliant neuroscientist, Megan had found a way to make augmentation safe and affordable for everyone. All she had to do was present her research to Congress. But the night before her big meeting, my security measures failed. A team of black ops mercenaries stormed into Sarah headquarters, massacring everyone inside. Three of the mercs were heavily augmented walking tanks. Their mission? Take out Megan and her team. I tried to stop them. Their leader tossed me through a plate glass wall. The last thing I heard as his bullet slammed into my brain was Megan's dying scream. I should have died with her. High-end military-grade enhancements saved my life. 
best augmentation Sarah's money could buy. It took me half a year to get a feel for her. Should have taken longer. But six months into my recovery, Sarah Industries was attacked again. This time, by a radical group of Violent, militant, and fanatically opposed to human augmentation. They claim to be members of humanity front, a non-profit organization that wanted the UN to limit biotechnology research. The thugs broke into Sarah's factory and found machines working overtime on a top secret military augment called the Typhoon. Sarah sent me to retrieve it. And when I did, I found one of the so-called purists next to it, wired with cerebral implants, trying to download its classified specs. Obviously, something more was going on. Yogg killed himself before I could question it. Sarif ordered me to dig deeper, so with the help of Frank Pritchard, Sarif's head of cybersecurity, I did. It turns out a second hacker had been controlling the AUG's actions from somewhere off-site. Pritchard and I tracked his signal to a secret FEMA internment camp in Detroit. The Black Op mercenaries were there. The same mercs who'd left me for dead six months before. Figured they'd try again when they saw me. It wasn't so easy for them this time. They took out the tank named Barrett. Even got him to give me a new lead. A penthouse apartment in China. Of course, we both knew it would be a trap in the end. Hengsha Island, China. Home to a city so crowded, they had to build a second city on top of it. Trying to find clues in Hengsha wouldn't be easy. Lucky for me, I wasn't alone. <coughs> Farida Malik, Sarif Industries' ace pilot, had lived in Hengsha before. Good person to have on your side. She knew enough about the place to get me around. Malik dropped me in the lower center, close to the penthouse Barrett had told me about. Bell Tower Associates, a private security firm under contract to the Chinese government, had agents tossing the suite when I arrived. Just not for the reason I had expected. It turns out the man who lived there was a criminal hacker named Van Rogan. The same hacker who had been remotely controlling the army in Sarah's factory. Van Bruggen's panic decision to force the man to commit suicide had been a mistake. Now his mercenary partners were gunning for him, and I needed to find him before they did. Locating Van Bruggen meant playing nice with the triads, anxious for the crime lords. They had the hacker holed up inside a little red capsule hotel. By the time I found him, Van Bruggen had no qualms giving up the moment of hiring him. Zhao Yunlu, president of the Taiyang Medical. According to Van Bruggen, Zhao wanted to monopolize the augmentation industry and had hired black op mercenaries to destabilize her competition. Seraph Industries was at the top of her list. To prove this, I needed to get inside TYM and grab a surveillance hologram off a server. I suspected Van Bruggen was hiding something when he told me this, but nothing could have prepared me for what I saw. Megan was dead. She and her four best researchers had been kidnapped. Spirited away somewhere while their kidnappers made it look like they were dead. Desperate to learn more, I confronted Zhao in her penthouse. She claimed to be a pawn in a bigger plan and hinted at a group so powerful it controlled global interests at a whim. Then she slipped into a panic room and hit the alarm, forcing me to make a very quick exit. I figured Zhao was lying. Part of her confession made sense. David Sarif had been worried about his people. So worried, he'd required all of them to have subdermal locator devices surgically implanted. The GPOs were to be broadcasting the day of the attack. Zhao sent a single call to Pikus, the world's leader of global 24 hour satellite news, and turned their signals off. I needed to fly to Pike's headquarters in Montreal if I wanted to learn more. Eliza Cassan, Pike's communications first lady of news. Malik thought I was reaching when I told her Eliza was involved in this. The world's most famous news anchor, 
working with a mercenary hit squad. But when I confronted Cassandra in her office, she freely admitted to jamming Detroit satellites the night Megan's team had been taken. Since she's just been following her commands, I suspected she wanted to see more. But Black Ops mercenaries showed up with their shuttles pulled down. And just like that, the Eliza I've been talking to disappeared. The mercs were led by an augmented killer I crossed paths with twice before. Then her over. A woman who'd made silence her best friend. She waited for me to track Eliza's transmission to a secret server room underneath the Pikus complex, then jumped me from behind. A deadly fight ensued. I made sure she never moved silently again. I fed her over down, and no one left to keep Eliza quiet. She reappeared. Turns out Pikus' first lady of news wasn't a lady at all. She was a sophisticated AI program engineered to monitor data streams and control what people believed. Eliza told me the Mercs had brought in a humanity front doctor named Isaiah Sandoval to remove the scientist's implanted tracking devices while Detroit's satellites were down. She also told me to speak to David Sarah if I wanted to. By the time Malik and I got back to Detroit, tensions between normal and augmented citizens had reached a flashpoint. Riots were breaking out in several cities, and the UN was being urged to intervene. Seraph was trying hard to convince Hugh Darrow, the inventor turned philanthropist, who'd once been a leading proponent of enhancement technologies, to help stop a possible regulatory vote. Seraph had a lot riding on Darrow. Megan's discovery would have given millions of people the chance to evolve beyond their normal human abilities, and at the same time, catapulted Seraph Industries to the top of the Fortune 500. According to Sarah, Megan's kidnappers knew this. They didn't want people to know that unless they controlled how it was done. He called his enemies Illuminati and urged me to keep searching. Determined to do so, I tracked down Sandoval via America's most outspoken augmentation opponent, Bill Taggart, Sandoval's boss and founder of Humanity Front. Sandoval admitted to operating on Megan's team when I confronted him said he hadn't removed their GPLs. He merely switched them to a different frequency. Pritchard was able to trace one of the signals to China. Malik and I immediately took off in pursuit. Unfortunately, we were not even one step ahead. Ambushed. Shot out of the sky by Bell Tower Associates seconds after entering anxious airspace. Malik's pilot was killed safe. After a tense and bitter struggle, I escaped into the bar and shot him. The tracking signal I was following led straight to the triads, or more specifically, to the augmented arm of Tong Siang, leader of a gang of augmentation harvesters. Tong said they'd taken the arm off a corpse, which Bell Tower had left at their door. Meaning that at least one of Sarah's scientists was dead. Maybe not the rest of them, though. Tong pointed me. Port Hughes pursued trafficking and helped me slip aboard a Bell Tower ship. We were sailing to Rifleman Bank Station, a military base in the South China Sea. Bell Tower was holding kidnapped civilians as prisoners there and using them to perfect the Hyron project, a human computer interface that left most of its test subjects dead. My search for Megan would have ended then, if not for a mysterious ally named Quinn. In exchange for my help exposing the bell tower, he slipped me aboard a second ship headed to Singapore and an Illuminati run biotech facility called Omega Ridge. Three of Seraph's scientists were there, forced by their captors to create a technology capable of remotely shutting down augmented abilities. Thanks to an emergency recall notice issued by the World Health Organization, millions of people all over the world already have the biochip installed. With the help of the scientists, I tracked Megan to a private section of the ranch. There, I ran into Yaron Namir, the walking tank who put a bullet in Megan the first time we met. He teamed up with Zhao and was hoping to catch me off guard. A little ambush didn't work. I found Megan in a suite belonging to Hugh Darrow, a billionaire philanthropist, and Sarah had called out for help. 
Dara had convinced her to go along with the biochip plan by promising to sabotage the tech. As she was explaining this, Dara appeared in the global broadcast, telling the world that augmentations would be the death of mankind. Then he activated the biochips to prove his point. All over the world, augmented people flew into a killing frenzy. Darrow had betrayed everyone, and it was up to me to set things right. To do it, I had to reach Panchea, a massive installation in the Arctic Ocean. As I raced through corridors built by an all-augmented workforce, I saw death and destruction firsthand. By the time I shook down Darrow's broadcast, I knew the damage he'd done. Still, humanity's future remained unclear. How would the world react to this sabotage? Would people ever regain their faith in augmentations again? What would be the Illuminati's next move? Only time to give us the answers. Square Enix. Or Anex, whatever they want to say. <laughs> I once thought I could save the world. There's better not be copyrighted oh, music right here now, because uh, I'm going to have a fit. And yet another augmented terror attack. And if it does, then I'll have to wind up cutting this out later on. <laughs> Now keep money while well, I turn the music off, so this shouldn't be copyrighted. Sometimes you just have to let go and embrace what you've become. Not gonna go all wonky on us now, Hansa, are ya? Well, if I do, McCree, I guarantee you'll never see it coming. Agent Jensen, am I gonna have a problem with you? No, sir. No reason to assume you would. Good. Because you are the only augmented operative on this team, and I intend to make good use of you. Listen up, all of you. We've got a sandstorm barreling down our ass, and we can't afford to make mistakes. We're going after this man, an arms dealer named Shepard. He's ex Bell Tower, one of the special forces commanders who disappeared during the incident. But he's come out of hiding. That cannot be good. It's not. He's selling weapons and military-grade augments to terrorists. This is Aran Singh, the undercover agent who lured Shepard out of his hole. Best you see Interpol's got. But three years he's worked hard to get in tight with the Jinn, an Iraqi smuggling cartel that's infected the Eastern Hemisphere like a plague. Last week, our arms dealer sent a message to the Jinn, offering to sell them a shitload of black market merchandise dirt cheap. They told Singh to handle the buy. You're not gonna like it when Interpol disrupts that party. Is Singh's cover really that good? It is right now. We need to keep it that way. <laughs> this is where the deal's going down. A half-finished high-rise hotel that's been abandoned ever since the incident. It's not a pretty picture inside. Let me guess. Most of the laborers were augmented with heavy-duty industrial rigs. So when the incident hit and they all went schizo, Things got gruesome real fast, and no one, except for some homeless junkies, have been inside the place ever since. So what's the plan, Director? Singh's meeting Shepard on the ground floor, inside the hotel's main atrium. He sent the bulk of his gin crew to the penthouse levels to secure a vantage point. I want McCready's team to take up positions overlooking the atrium and make the arrest. Jensen, you're going in solo from the roof. My objectives? Keep the gin from joining the party. As far as we can tell, only one route connects the atrium to the penthouse level, a halfway decent elevator shaft. Here. I want you to block access to it. Fine. Just cut me loose. Do you plan on relying solely on your augments for this one? 
I'd recommend taking a little hardware, just to be sure. Um, <laughs> we're going to try going non-lethal, and if it don't work, with our real gameplay, we're going to go not, we're going to go lethal and stomp everyone's ass. We've got a UC in there. Might be easier to maintain his cover if he's not the only one still breathing when this is done. Smart thinking. Yeah, but if anything does happen to him, you'll be telling his wife. After you get out of the hospital, of course. What about range? There's lots of wide spaces and high ceilings in there, but a number of tight and constrained rooms too. So it's a crapshoot, really. Never was one to play the arts. Give me something I can use up close. You got it. One last thing, Jensen. Singh said that Jin are using some sort of portable Wi-Fi device to boost communications. He's got a better chance of maintaining cover if you disable it. We'll keep an eye out for it. But aren't we on the clock here? You said there's a sandstorm moving in. There is, and we got the intel on this mission at the very last minute. So we're scrambling a little. If it comes to it, your number one priority is keeping the Jin out of that atrium. Copy that. Time to put away your happy thoughts, gentlemen. We're approaching the target building. You're up first, Jensen. Let's do this. Task <laughs> Force Action. This is Life Leader. Engage Hush Drives and descend to Angels 1-5. <laughs> Yeehaw! Team leader, this is Jensen. I'm on the roof. Solid copy. Move into the building. The access route you need to block us at the far end of the penthouses. And keep in mind, the direct route might not be the easiest one. Roger that. McCready will advise once his team is on the ground. Miller out. I forgot. I didn't know if I can save it or not. Okay. <laughs> I have just one question to ask everybody. Did you miss me? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. No, wait, wait. I I forgot there could be something in that and I could I fucked up.
Okay, so, uh, second. Okay, whatever. Jensen, we're moving through. Oh, fuck! What's wrong? The Jin have got a few Jennies up and running. We're gonna have to hack keypads. You should enjoy it, McCready. We have colors and shapes. Just remember, red means bad. Fuck you. I haven't played this game in, in a long time, so I don't know the controls. Superman punch. Restore the power.
Whoa. Oh, I remember this. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. And yeah, also everyone, if uh, if y'all been wondering what I've been up to all this time, other than uh, working on that intro for my uh, for my release day unboxing of uh, T uh, Dragon Ball, um, I have also been watching. Uh, I was watching Wonder Woman, which I did uh, did a little review. On my channel update, so if you haven't checked that out yet, please do so. Um, also, I watched a new movie that Nickel Boy 53 was asking me or telling me about. Told me I need to go check it out and watch it. I watched the whole thing, A Space Between Us, and let me tell you something. I give the game. I give that movie two thumbs up, five stars. That movie was awesome. It's boring and boring at first, but when you get in, when you watch it, when you sit here and watch it, it, it get it gets really good. And I love that movie. And I, if I had both of them movies, bought and paid for, I sit here and watch them every day. And they was that good. And also, everyone, I'm going to show you all this right now. <laughs> That's right, everyone. The whole collection for uh, four movies of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies. One, two, three, and uh, the fourth one, it looks like a cartoon movie. And the third one sucks to ass. I don't hardly like it, but uh, the other one makes up for it. Yeah, everyone. I've, I've had this for uh, for so many years. If you can believe that, I've had it for so many years, and uh, oh, let me put that back over there. Where's my there? There we go. I've had that for so many years, and uh, I think for five or six years, I'm not sure, but I've had it for a long ass time, and uh, I have been watching this whole time. I've been watching. Go ninja, go ninja, go, 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 go ninja, go ninja, go, 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 ninja, ninja rap, ninja, ninja rap. I was I was sitting here watching that whole thing, enjoying the hell out of that on my on my time off, away from YouTube, and also I've been watching other videos uh, videos like a. Uh, Nico Boy 53's live streams when he goes live. I've been watching his live streams. I've been watching uh, Rukon's videos, uh, Ace Buzz Gaming's channel videos, even his live streams. Um, Tyro Magnus uh, live streams. Um, the list goes on and on. Andre. The Black Nerd. Uh, I, I've been watching his videos and watch out. Hold on. See? I think I got it. I think I got that. 
and uh, among uh, among other channels and and, and uh, videos as well. So yeah, I've been pr I've been doing all that. Uh, yes, I have been staying uh, now. Technically, I have been staying away from YouTube, which means no videos uh, that I've been uploading or anything like that. But I have been making videos for y'all guys. And if y'all hadn't checked them out yet, please go do. They're up on my YouTube channel right now. And I got a review, I got a reaction and a view for Mike the 991 video. I'm going to be uploading tonight, so you'll be able to see it. If not tonight, you'll be able to see it tomorrow. Okay. Um, yeah. I'll do another خلينا ننهي هذه الصفقة ونطلع منها. ها؟ مين هذا؟ Jensen, Mac, listen up. Doppler shows that sandstorm's moving in fast. It's big, and it's gonna hit us hard. God, I hate the fucking desert. Confirm visual? I can. Time is not on our side. Copy that. Solid copy.
start the signal to move to the red. Oh, but I'm not Good. But it's too much riding on this thing. That thing we need is it comes breaking down. McCready, how you making out? Slower than expected. It's like someone's told a fucking cemetery down here. Say again? When the shit hit the fan in 27, the rush must have been for the stairs. There's corpses everywhere. A lot of your cousins are here too, Jensen. You want me to grab you any spare parts? No parts. But I take mine with cream and two sugars while you're asking. <laughs> I hope the next job has more action. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Throw her around. <laughs> oh, crap. I did it again. Oh shit. Okay, that didn't work down, did it? Huh. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> McCready, how are you making out? Slower than expected. It's like someone's told the fucking <laughs> cemetery down here. Say again? When the shit hit the fan in 27, the rush must have been for the stairs. There's corpses everywhere. A lot of your cousins are here too, Jensen. You want me to grab you any spare parts? No parts, but I take mine with cream and two sugars while you're asking. We have a new subscriber, everyone. Okay.
suspicious. You're uh, so, you're so unbelievable. Oh, do 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 <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Next
our guide. Jensen, watch your 20. Working my way through the penthouses. Remember to keep an eye out for the Jin's communications booster. If you can, disable it. Roger that. I ran out of fucking bullets. Oops. <laughs> oh well. Alrighty, one. Well, I definitely am not going to say this right now. Uh, thank you for watching right here on this, uh, testing stream for this game right here, uh, starting tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to start doing this on the first stream or this other one I'm going to be doing here in a, in a few seconds, okay? Um, uh, let me know. When I, when I get done with the with the last one, okay, and I will uh, go from there, okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, oh, thanks for watching and have a great day. Dragon Souls signing out. <laughs>